Welcome to Exploring Arizona Life Science Research and Biodiversity with the Tree of Life Web Project. Visit podcasts at toweb.org for learning materials to accompany this episode and to find out how to contribute to the series. I'm Lisa Schwartz, Toe Learning Materials Editor. And in this episode, you'll learn how to take a spore print with biologist Katja Schultz. Taking a spore print is an easy and fun and also extremely important part of the mushroom identification process. In a spore print, you can view the mature spores that have been released from the gills of the mushroom and fallen out onto the paper. You can't see a single spore on its own without the help of a microscope. What you're seeing in a spore print is a mass of hundreds of thousands of millions of spores. Now let's learn how to take a spore print. Take one specimen that's completely intact, take that with us, and the other two we're going to Cut off the stem. So we found a mushroom and we don't know what it is. So it is in order to identify it. We're going to try to get a spore print from it. We're going to take and one mushroom. We're going to put a piece of paper on it. And it, the paper, it's white index paper, but I put a couple of black lines in mm -hmm. it with black marker because the spore print could be either dark or it could be white. And you couldn't see the white on the white paper. so. That's why I have black and white paper. And I'm going to put it in here. And then hopefully over the course of the next few hours, the spores are going to fall out from the mushroom on the paper. And we're going to get a spore print. And what we can do when we get home is we can see if we got the spore print. Katya was able to successfully identify her mushroom with a field guide using the spore print. An interesting thing to know is that you cannot generally take the color of the gills as an indication of spore color. That's why you must take a print. A good example for an unexpected spore color based on gill color is the false chanterelle, which has bright orange to pale orange gills, but a white to creamy spore color. We hope you enjoy creating your own spore print sometime. Special thanks to Katja Schultz.